Happy Thursday, everybody. This is Spencer. Um, today I am playing a game called Revenge of the Titans. I actually got it, I don't know, whenever the Humble Indie Bundle 2 came out, and I never played it. I, I just knew it would be released on Steam eventually, and it was finally released on Steam, and then I got to download it. I don't like going anywhere but Steam for my digital downloads. It just, you know, remembering where you have what can be a big pain in the butt, and no one likes to do that. I didn't really know what to expect with this game. It is yet another tower defense game. It's fun, though. I like the graphic style. I like the... The, the pacing, it's really fast paced, especially for a, uh, for a tower defense game, so they, they tend to drag for me. Um, so I'm really enjoying it, and I'm probably going to play quite a bit more of it. Uh, check it out, it's on Steam right now. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about PAX some more, uh, maybe tell a story from the PAX train, which I did take the PAX train. I went from Florence, South Carolina to Washington, D.C., and then from D.C. I went to Boston. And uh, the Florence to D.C. train was just lame. It was about eight hours, and it was from midnight until like 8 a.m., so there was no chance to meet up with anybody else. There were a couple of other PAX train goers on the train, but I didn't find that out until later. Um, I was sitting next to a girl who was she was doing two things one she was watching the series Californication and she was also playing uh, Plants vs Zombies and she didn't say a word like the whole time and I'm pretty sure she was some kind of drug addict so that was fun I didn't get a whole lot of sleep there got to DC uh, had about a three hour layover in DC and finally met up with some other PAX train goers. Uh, as we got closer and closer to the departure time, we met up with more people, and by the time we were getting on the train, we finally had, I don't know, 15 people. So we're all hanging out together, and a lot of the people know each other from previous PAX, from, from the one previous PAX train, or just know each other in general. And so we were hauling all of our luggage out, and the train attendant tells us to go to the very front of the train. So we lug all of our crap to the front of the train. We get to the front of the train where we are told this is the quiet car, you guys can't come in here. So the rest of the train had already filled up. We got on the front car and just started walking back with all of our stuff. And we're all carrying two bags at least. And two is supposed to be the maximum that you can carry, but you can actually carry a laptop in addition and stuff like that. So. There's more stuff being carried. And we're just slowly dragging our way towards the back of the train. And after about five cars, we give up. And we're like, we're not going to get to sit together. Let's just sit down where we can. We'll try and organize where we're going to sit later. And that's what we do. And slowly, people start getting off the train. It's a commuter train, so lots of people are getting off between D.C. and Boston. And we're starting to slowly build up a group. And then someone comes from the back of the train and says, hey, there's no one there. <laughs> if we'd only gone two more cars, then we would have been able to all sit together. So long story short, by the end of the train ride, we had an entire tr train car full of gamers. And it was really cool. There were a lot of people playing Mario Kart on DS. There were a lot of people playing Pokemon. Um, there was some card gaming going up in the lounge car. And it was just a, a cool experience. Um, there was also a lot of drinking, which I wasn't really expecting. Kind of a weird vibe that I, I wasn't looking forward to, but um, I did have fun. Now, would I do this again? I have no idea. <laughs> it was a long trip. I guess it wasn't any longer than driving, not really, and cost-wise it ended up being about the same as driving, and I did get to sleep a little bit, so I don't know, it felt kind of like a wash. The trip back was really long. I didn't know anybody on that train, so it was it was more just just traveling. But it went pretty well. I don't know. I might do it again someday. Anyway, I'm gonna be back tomorrow with maybe some more stories from Pact. We'll see how it goes. Uh, see you guys then.